Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Amazing World of Science. I am Dr. Radha Subramaniam, your science teacher. So today we are going to uh, revise a few question answers from the first lesson matter and uh, matter in our surroundings. Already I have uploaded one session of the uh, in text questions and answers and uh, today uh, we will be uh, doing the exercise questions and uh, a few questions from uh, in text. Okay. So, first uh, we will start with this uh, in text question uh, which is given in page 3. So, uh, already I have uploaded uh, those who have not watched uh, can go and uh, uh, revise this again and this session already I have uploaded for you and uh, now I will be uh, continuing with uh, the next set of in text questions and uh, some because many of the students are finding it difficult to uh, answer the questions given in the uh, given as a part of in text questions. So, for such students I hope this will be easy for you. So, uh, here this one we are going to learn today. Okay. Let us page number 6 and uh, first question you can see that uh, the mass per unit volume of a substance is called density. So, what is density? It is mass per unit volume. So, you have to arrange the following in order of increasing density like air, exhaust from chimneys, honey, water, then uh, chalk, cotton and iron. So, iron. So, here we know that uh, uh, mass per unit volume of a substance is what we call density that is density is equal to mass by volume. So, this will be the correct arrangement that is air, exhaust from chimney, cotton, water, then honey, chalk, iron. So, hope you get this and ok now we will move on to the next question uh, that is uh, here you can uh, see that uh, uh, you are asked to tabulate the differences in characteristics of uh, states of matter and you have to comment upon the following rigidity, compressibility, fluidity, filling a gas uh, container, shape, kinetic energy and density. So, you can uh, see uh, this chart I have made for you uh, like characteristic you know shape, volume, rigidity, intermolecular force, intermolecular space, compressibility. So, for solid you see shape is fixed volume also is fixed, rigidity is uh, rigid, intermolecular force is maximum, intermolecular space is very less, compressibility is negligible. You can just uh, take a screenshot of this if you want. Whereas, for liquid it is not fixed, Okay, what is not fixed? Shape is not fixed, then volume that is fixed, then rigidity it can uh, flow, but not rigid. Okay. Then intermolecular force, intermolecular force is less than solids, then intermolecular space is more than solids and compressibility it is compressible. So, now what about the gas, gases have no uh, fixed shape, then what is the second point? Volume, volume is uh, also not fixed and the gases can flow, it is not rigid, then uh, intermolecular force, intermolecular phase, uh, space and compressibility. So, intermolecular force is very less and uh, then the intermolecular space because you know gas molecules are very far away from each other. So, intermolecular space is maximum and it is highly compressible. Okay. Now, uh, what about the next question? We will move on to the next question. Uh, second part they are asking uh, to comment the following rigidity, compressibility, fluidity, filling a gas container, shape, kinetic energy and density. See what is rigidity? Rigidity is nothing but tendency of a substance to maintain its shape. Okay. Uh, that is when subjected to an external force. See if you apply a force to a substance then the tendency of a substance to maintain its shape is called rigidity. And what is compressibility? Compressibility is ex external force applied on matter can bring the particles close. When you apply force on a substance it can bring the particles close together. This property is known as compressibility like gases, liquids and all that. Fluids means tendency of particles to flow. Then filling of gas container. See gases are particles that vibrate. So, and uh, randomly that is why it can fill the container. And kinetic energy. 
energy possessed by a body due to its motion then shape solid itself maximum into molecular force and a definite shape and uh, density is equal to mass by volume solid has the highest density so uh, these uh, questions uh, which i have discussed i hope it is clear for you and you can just uh, go through all these questions and see if you can answer it by yourself all the questions uh, of the in text from page 6 have been included here okay fine now we'll uh, work out the exercise uh, questions of the first lesson i hope uh, you read and understood all the exercise question so there are a few easy questions given here which we will discuss so what is the first question given over here the first question is convert the following temperature to celsius scale that is 293k and 470k see how can you convert to celsius scale 293k it's just uh, 293 minus 273 that is 20 degrees celsius 470k that is 470 minus 273 is 197 see 273k plus or minus 273 that is how you convert kel kelvin to degree celsius now second question is convert the following temperatures to kelvin scale that is 25 degrees celsius 373 degrees celsius just you have to add 25 means add 25 when you convert uh, to celsius subtract then 25 degrees celsius add 273 373 also 273 add 298 kelvin here 646 kelvin here now next uh, you are asked to give reason for the following naphthalene balls disappear with time without uh, leaving any solid why do they disappear you know if it keep if you keep it outside for some time it keeps disappearing why it is like that see naphthalene balls uh, disappear with time because without leaving any solid because naphthalene balls sublime and directly changes into vapor state without leaving any solid see what is sub sublimation it is a process by which a particle solid particle changes into vapor without uh, uh, without uh, coming into the intermediate without leaving any residue or solid okay so naphthalene ball they directly change into vapor state okay now uh this is very common question we can get the smell of perfume sitting several meters away because of diffusion uh because uh, the molecules will uh, diffuse we can get the smell of perfume because perfume contains uh, volatile solvent that diffuses very fast in air right okay now uh, next uh, fourth question is arrange the following substances in increasing order of forces of attraction between particles water sugar oxygen you have to arrange them in increasing order of forces of attraction between the particles so uh, you know naturally gas oxygen is a gas so that will be uh, you know minimum uh, having uh, which order they are asking a uh, uh, order of forces of attraction this is least for oxygen then comes water that is liquid sugar highest gas uh, you know solid state for sugar okay so the order is oxygen water sugar maximum will be in sugar because it is in solid state because uh, you know molecular force of attraction is strongest in solid state and it is least in gases now next question what is the physical state of water at 25 degree celsius 0 degree celsius 100 degree celsius at 25 degree celsius water is liquid 0 degree celsius it is solid or liquid 100 degree celsius it is liquid and gas fine now okay give two reasons to justify question 6 water at room temperature is a liquid iron alumina is a solid at room temperature you know water is a liquid at room temperature why because the freezing point uh, of water is 0 degree celsius and boiling point is 100 degree celsius iron alumina is solid at room temperature why because you know uh, melting point of iron is higher than room temperature fine okay now uh next question is seventh question why is ice at 273 kelvin more effective in cooling than water at same temperature okay because ice at 273 kelvin it will absorb heat or latent heat latent heat means hidden heat from uh, medium to overcome the fusion to become water because only if it absorbs heat then ice melt and becomes water okay so cooling of ice is more than water at the same temperature the next question what produce more severe burn boiling water or steam of course steam will produce steam at 100 degree celsius will produce more severe burns because 
you know uh, the extra heat hidden in steam called latent heat and the boiling water has got no latent heat okay steam has got hidden heat in it known as latent heat fine now the last uh, ninth question you are given a friends and uh, also uh, don't forget to press the bell icon because as soon as i post new videos you will be getting the notifications immediately so do keep watching amazing world of science so with that i am winding up for today thank you